Yeah, let's do it. I was going out with a college girl before. That's all over. Bummer. Yeah, I think I'll stick to babes my own age. I could really like you. Come on, guys, we're out of here. Diamond Lake, man. I took shop. I'm good with cars. Shut up! Oh, my God. All right. Well, I see you finally managed to get wet. Get in the car and wait for me, okay? What happened? gets a hug from me. Okay, and ten dollars. Go! Go! Ten dollars is a lot of money. The Mary part's a little radical. She'll be good for him. It's time I got it together and settled down. What? Did you scared the crap out of a couple of guests? So what? Screwed up. I'm exactly a paralyzing first for you. Maybe this is what I need. Heck, maybe this is what I needed all along. And what 
course it's not. Huh? Oh, buddy boy, what if marrying Maddie Gibbons isn't really the answer at all? Then what? It won't be as easy to just cut and run like you did before. Not racking up a lot of best man miles, Dale. Look, all I'm saying is you slow it down a little. You know what I mean? Sometimes the long road has the better view. Sometimes the long road has the better view. Yeah. You're just becoming the old philosopher now, aren't you? <laughs> this is something I want to do. Maddie today at the lake. It's all right. We're getting married, Jack. I don't think I want you taking out any more whitewater tours for a while. You are a thing of beauty. You risked the lives of three people on the river today to beat Russell. Now you're going to marry his sister to be Warren. What is it you were expecting from me, son? Just a little slack. Not much. Just enough to say that I was wrong. That I know I messed up. But you're just too quick on the draw for me. Retribution comes swift and hard from Jack McKenna. I'll let you know when we set a date. He tried for a full refund and he settled on half. So it's not a total loss. Yeah. Does anyone think half? She has disappeared off the face of the earth since she took that trip into Tangle. He's going to kill me. What am I going to do? Well, let me have a look here. No chrome damage. Frame seems to be okay. Coat of paint, little Bondo. She'll be looking good as new. Really? I know a fellow over Redmond. He'll have her in and out in a couple of hours. No one even has to know she's been gone. Well, how much do you think it would cost? Well, $250, $300 tops. Oh, yes, right. Where am I going to get $300? I could loan it to you. Naomi's got a nice little nest egg from her Tupperware sales. <laughs> You'd be surprised how attached people get to their leftovers. <laughs> no, I couldn't. But really, thank you. Mm. I wish they'd believe me when I tell them it wasn't my fault. Well, maybe they will. Yeah, right. Well, you don't know. When you least expect it, people just surprise the heck right out of you. Get 
try to throw him a rope. Not responding. This guy's out of it. We're search and rescue. About Ten minutes away. Keep trying to get that rope out to him. Mike, see if you can't find a longer piece of rope in your truck. Hey, keep trying to get that rope out to him, man. I need that cable now. This guy's got a jack on his head. I don't know how long he's going to last out there. I repeat, I need it now. Roger. Rick, where are you going? He's not going to be able to hold on that long. You want to put a boat in the water, don't you? You want to wait for search and rescue? You know, the problem with river rafting is it's too unpredictable. In New Zealand, they have these jet boats with big block Chevy engines in them. Ah, uh, they handle like a dream. Expensive, but if they had one of those here, I guarantee people would be lined up on the riverbank. What? I was watching you out there. Saving Russell doing this incredibly dangerous thing without even thinking. And you did it because you had to do it. Do I throw you in now or later? And I realized it was more than that. You did it because you could not do it. When you pulled Russell on shore, oh no. I just started to cry all over again. But it wasn't only because of Russell. What are you trying to say, Mary? It's a part of you, Greg. That part that made you thread the needle just for the hell of it. That made you run naked in front of Falker's funeral parlor, shouting free at last. That's what made you leave Ben. And me. Maddie. You're going to become that rock someday. I'm always going to wonder why it couldn't have been me. Maybe it's just as well because it's not going to be the birthday I felt. 